Now, people who cannot keep up with your vibration, of course, they're going to not like you. They're going to, it's going to feel like they hate you. It's going to feel like they're sending negative energy to you, but really they just don't match your energy at this moment. They cannot live up to the standards that you are putting yourself at. They have not yet seen someone do the things that you have done. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are. Welcome to My Creative Life. I'm Key, and right now, I am about to serve you this spiritual message, okay? This one is from the higher guides, and it all is about your divine guidance and what is in store for you right now. So, for this collective read, I know that a lot of you have lost a lot of people in the past. A lot of you are moving on from relationships that don't work for you, whether these are friendships, these are working relationships, these are romantic relationships. We're going to figure out why your radical self-acceptance has caused them to hate you, okay? They strongly dislike the person that you are becoming. They strongly dislike the vibration that you are vibing at because they cannot attune to it anymore. And there is a reason why. So with all love, with nothing but unconditional love and highest delight and all good things and harmony to all, we're going to get into it. So the message that I'm already receiving is that you had to leave some people in the past. You had to let go of some of these relationships so that you can be in a healthy place within yourself, okay? So let's see what the universe wants you to know. I'm gonna start off with my Kantiji Oracle. As I said, this allows me to tap into the super conscious because it has this abstract imagery that doesn't really give you a strong symbol, but it allows the message to come through and present itself as it's formulated in the super conscious. At least that's how I connect to it. So, what is it that you need to know on this on this journey of radical self acceptance? Pollination. Okay, pollination. So, you are at the beginning stages of this new self that you've come into. You have started to accept who you are and you've started to shape your inner narrative to match the person that you've destined yourself to be or that you've envisioned yourself to be. This is a symbol of how you will change your world. You will change the thoughts that people have about you by first thinking those thoughts within yourself. We are all a collective, so we all pick up on energy. We all understand energy. As it, and as you change your energy, other people will start to pick up on this new version of you, okay? You are not thinking the same thoughts. You are not looking at life the same way. You are not seeking the same sources of validation or seeking the same kind of desires you are now living in the now you're living in the present moment and you are being who you really should have been a long time ago okay this is not necessarily a step of i am no longer who i used to be this is you have now become the person that you actually want to be and it is now being picked up on and more people are going to catch up to you okay you might have been a person that is ahead of the game and it just seems like, you know, you just always move forward and beyond what people can understand. Everything you say goes right over their heads, okay? They are kind of in the dust when it comes to your line of thinking. You are highly evolved, okay? We have, you don't know where you are, but you are free. So I had this in one of my other reads, which is really interesting because... This is letting me know that, yes, you have completed this leap of faith. You have taken the leap of faith many times. You're familiar with changing your lifestyle. You might be an artist who is constantly reinventing themselves and looking for the latest trend to change. You are setting the trends. You are doing new things. You are always looking for ways to evolve and to incorporate new experiences, new knowledges into your life. So you don't know where you are, but you are free. So this, we're all human, right? Even though we might be very guided and we might know exactly what we desire to be, sometimes we face senses of uncertainty where we're like, I don't know who 
is going to be the next person that I'm going to have to change or not change, but who I'm going to have to um, leave. I, I don't know what the situation may be at this moment, but it is always made clear to you. It is very important for you at this time to pray for clarity, to meditate with crystal quartz crystals, to Paulo Santo to your house, to clear out negative energy, to clear out uncertainty, to meditate and focus on certain outcomes that you desire, okay? It is important for you to put yourself into a balanced state of being, balancing all of your chakras, doing meditations that allow you to feel like you are in your own body. This will allow you to find that focus. It may be important for you to take a few vitamins. I will say take some nootropics, um, take some vitamin B, take um, astaxanthin, take vitamin B12, um, you want to take anything that supports your brain health like Bacopa, you want to take, there's a lot of good vitamins that are amazing for your brain health like DHEA, um, taurine, you want to balance out your hormones, you want to take vitamins like Shisandra, um, maca root will be very useful for you at this time. Um, you just want to support your overall brain health because clarity is necessary for this new experience that you're having. I feel like this is an entire shift in your being, but you've been prepared for this. Um, it's giving me similar energy to a read that I just did because you guys are really, really becoming one with your divine purpose. Okay, the exploding star. You are about to, quote unquote, blow up in a good way, in every way possible, in the good ways, okay? You're an exploding star. This means that you will be reaching new people. You will be reaching further than you've expected in the past. You'll be, you'll be reaching new heights. You will be reaching new levels. People will feel you, okay? People used to hear you. People used to see you. People used to... Yeah, I understand, but now they get it. They feel you. They know you. You're being recognized wherever you are. I mean, you are going into, I'm getting visions right now. I'm getting visions of you being in like these nice upscale places and people treat you like, they treat you nicely. They treat you with kindness. They serve you and they're really pure about it. They actually want you to be happy with your experience. So people are treating you with respect because they know who you are. Your reputation has been recognized. Okay. The exploding star, you will start having, and we have another, <laughs> another quote unquote celestial type of card here, the solstice, the dark solstice sun. So you're in the public eye now and the public actually accepts your shadow side as much as it accepts your light side. And the reason why this is like this is because you fully accept yourself. You know both halves of yourself and you are more than two halves, just so you know. You are a multi-dimensional being that has multiple phases, okay? You have multiple phases, you have multiple facets, okay? So the public accepts you for who you are because you have You've just completely eradicated any doubt within your life. You completely accept yourself. Now, people who cannot keep up with your vibration, of course, they're going to not like you. They're going to, it's going to feel like they hate you. It's going to feel like they're sending negative energy to you. But really, they just don't match your energy at this moment. They cannot live up to the standards that you are putting yourself at. They have not yet seen someone do the things that you have done. And so this is kind of confusing for them. It's not necessarily something that's negative. It's making people around you have to challenge their ideas of who you are and who they actually are. So you're inspiring people in different ways. You're inspiring people to go on their own journeys of self-discovery so that they can understand why you are vibing so high, why everything just seems to roll off of your back, everything just seems to work out for you. And they're figuring out that this could work for them in their lives and they're shifting their own intentions. So you finding yourself has actually started a trend for people around you. You are now a leader. You are now a person who 
can shape the culture around you and you're doing this on a grand scale i'm getting a vision of the map of the united states um i'm getting a vision of the actual globe like you're gonna have global impact and you're actually you're ready for it you're built for it and it's something that's important for you and if you're a part of this collective then you know when i say you i mean we it's all of us this is everyone has their purpose okay i'm speaking to a group of people who were meant to shine, who were meant to be iconic, who were meant to use their talents and spread love, spread light, spread positivity in this world, spread self-acceptance, awareness, spread liberation in this world, okay? There is a lot that you were meant to do, okay? So you are affecting generations, okay? You're affecting generations to come, all right? That's really a dope thing. I know we, like, when I think about generational impacts, I think of, like, how we have our icons that we grew up with. And I think about how we follow the cultures that they've set. Sometimes it's easier to be a follower and it's more difficult to create your own culture, to create your own trends because you don't get that same instant gratification that you would just from being a follower or a fan of someone or a listener to a motivational speaker or one of these big name people. It feels easier to do that than to become that. But you must realize that you continuing to trailblaze in your own destiny, in your own path, you will automatically have people coming up to you and accepting you for who you are. You will inspire people. You are special. You do have impact. You are amazing at what you do, okay? So your talents will be recognized, okay? And it's being recognized in a respectable way. You are a group of people who seek to be intellectually respected. It's not about surface level things for you. It's all about it's all about achieving and authentically achieving and doing something that is very much reasonable, impactful, and legendary. You guys are legends in the making. Okay, so we have flower of life. We have divine creativity and manifestation. Divine creativity and manifestation. So you will see that it is easy for you to manifest. Um, a lot of you should be journaling and scripting when you start your day because you are powerful manifestors who can have things go the way that you would want them to go. Okay. Whew. I know it's scary sometimes. If you're someone who doesn't believe in manifesting, it's scary to think of someone else being able to control their reality and to put forth their own creations into this reality. But it is the truth it is what we as creative beings are meant to do it happens for us who are it happens for us and those of you who are in alignment with highest good when you create things that are negative then you put yourself in a, another space some people around you might have put themselves into a negative space because they were focused on creating negativity or whether it be intentional or unintentional but you are a conscious creator so you as a conscious creator has to you actually have to continue to consciously create because if not you will play a role in someone else's script that you did not want to play so it is very much important for you to use your creative abilities whether you are a film director whether you create computer graphics, whether you are an advertiser or a marketer, whether you create products, whether you're an entrepreneur, you're inventive, you must tune into your innate creativity to script your day-to-day -day life, to sketch your inventions, to plan your campaigns, to do what it is that you should be doing at all times. You have to develop routines. Routines are very important for you and it is very important for you to write it down. Write down your schedule. Write down your thoughts. It is very important for you to use block scheduling as well. Block scheduling or any other type of scheduling that allows you to enhance your workflow. That is super important for you. You need to continue to organize, okay? Organization is absolutely important in this step or this next frame of reality that you will be in okay so we have talisman of potency charging sacred objects of power so i was speaking on 
the fact that you have talents, right? You have many talents and you have to use your talents. You have to use the tools that are associated with your talents. These are your sacred objects. These are your powerful talismans. So if you are an artist, you need to be picking up that pen and sketching daily. If you are a music artist or a, a singer or you play instruments, you need to be using that instrument. You need to be using the microphone, practicing with your voice. If you do content creation, you need to be creating content. If you are, it's it can be anything that you're doing. If you're a craftsperson, you crochet things, you should be crocheting every day or coming up with a new pattern, new stitches. There is a deep need and a deep calling for you to originate ideas, okay? Although we live in this world that claims that nothing is an original idea, it is important for you to formulate the idea in your own way so that the people that will benefit from your work can benefit from your work. They cannot benefit from your work if you do not create it and if you do not put it out, okay? If you do not tap into the power of your own talisman, it's like a magical process. This creation process is magical. If you do not use your tools, you will lose your tools, okay? Right, and we have Divine Sun Child. This is the second time we're seeing the sun motif here. I also have sun in this pollination card. So, Divine Sun Child, Blessings of the Sun Falcon. You have been shielding in the past. People were comfortable with you shielding your talents, holding back, letting them shine, keeping your talents hidden, okay? People were comfortable with that, but now they don't like you because you are in your power. And it will not matter to you whether these people like you or not. Because you will be doing what you love. And so you doing what you love will actually attract more people who love to see you be happy. You doing what you love will attract people who love what you do as well. And people will come to you so that they can be amazed by you. So that they can be wowed by you. And yes, the people who don't like you will be watching from the outside. Yeah, they'll say, oh, well, uh, I don't care. They, they weren't like that. They, this, is, this is who they used to be. This is This is my idea of who they are. And it will not phase you at all. You are too busy shining. You are too busy. You are too busy energetically emanating all of this amazing energy. You will not even let that touch you. It will not touch you. It will not be on your mindset. You will be completely aligned with your own soul's purpose. You will literally be lit up, glowing. Expect to hear many, many compliments about you look like you are literally glowing, okay? People are going to be telling you you're glowing. People are going to be telling you you look, you look better. They're going to be asking you if you had work done, okay? That's how good you're going to look. Um, your routines are important. So if you have any beauty routines that you like to do, like whether that be facials, whether that be massages, whatever it may be, you have to continue to do that because this is, this is who you are. This is what this next version of you actually requires. You're taking very great care of yourself and people will be seeing that the haters and the lovers. Okay. The fans and the foes, the friends and the foes. All of them will be seeing this, but you're just going to keep doing you and you're going to benefit from taking action and being a actual beacon of light in this world. Okay, let's see what else the universe wants to want you to know. Let's see. Why is it that this radical self-acceptance polarizes the collective universe? Why does it polarize them? Universal love, the frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Universal love. So the reason why this new version of you is polarizing and it is putting people at odds about you, it is because they are not yet ready to receive the energy of universal love. They have been taught different ways or they have been fighting to keep an old paradigm alive love is this love is that love is not worth it love is not real 
They might have negative attachments to the word love. Some people are holding resentment against what has happened to them, what their experience is, and they are just not yet ready to receive universal love. They are learning to change their views. It is not up to you to change their views. You have already inspired them enough. Little do you know, but you don't have to actively tell this person it's time for you to change. You need to listen. You need, you don't have to wake this person up. You don't have to wake these people up. You don't have to force it. You just have to vibrate in the universal love that you already have. And that is more than enough for you to be happy and fulfilled. Okay. So it's all about receiving universal love, being that beacon of light and not forcing anybody else to receive it or accept you. Your radical self-acceptance will automatically put you in a place of happiness. And some people who will not be able to receive it, that's just their own issue to deal with. It has nothing to do with you. And it's just going to literally dissipate within your energy field so easily that people will feel silly for even coming at you in certain ways. I'm going to need to wet my whistle here. Serving you the spiritual tea, okay? Yep. Refreshing. Soul time. <laughs> it is soul time, okay? You're in your soul's purpose. You are being fulfilled. And it is soul time. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal, the soul is timeless. Limitless and infinite. Okay? Your soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So, the reason why they do not like you anymore, the reason why they hate you is because you have recognized that you are more than this body. These people were attached to their body. Their body was everything to them. All they can think about is, why doesn't my body look like this? Why does my body look like that? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like that? Why can't I feel like this? They are stuck in their ego self. Their ego is attached to their body, their physicality, the way that they see things. They are looking at things from a soul, not a soul level, but from a surface level. And it is what is holding them back. You have transitioned beyond your body. You see your body as a vessel for your soul and you take care of your body, okay? You allow your soul to expand. You have tapped into higher realms already. And so when people are not yet there, they look at you and they're angry because they don't understand how to get there yet. It's just misplaced anger, misplaced uncertainty, misplaced confusion. And when it's, it's kind of like I can remember a time where I didn't have the knowledge of how to earn money on my own and so if I would see a successful person I would feel a bit envious and I had to remind myself hey this envy is not because you don't like what they have it's actually because you want to have what they have and that is completely okay to be inspired by someone right so some people are learning how to be inspired and how to incorporate what they see on the outside to what their experience actually is. They are learning how to integrate their desires and experience their desires rather than hate their desires. The thing is these people don't actually hate you. They want something that you have and they are going to learn or even, maybe they won't. It is not up to you, but they see that you have a soul understanding that they do not yet have. They are going to learn from you whether they like it or not, okay? So, they cannot fit you into a box that is predictable based on their own perception. And that is challenging their perception. Not all of us like to be challenged, right? So you radically accepting yourself, you radically alchemizing all of the energy, all of this negativity, transmuting your past experiences into beautiful flowers of your future. You're breaking the mold that they have set for you. You are showing them that you are not actually bound by their perception, by their frame of understanding. You are beyond that. Okay. They will be inspired whether they like it or not. Change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old 
and the birth of the new. So, it just feels like there is a lot of new things happening for you. There's a lot of new experiences that you've become aware of. There is a lot of work that you've been doing with visualization. You've found a lot of new inspirations and new goals to attain. And because you have become aware, you cannot manifest anything that you are not yet aware of. So because you have been working on becoming more aware of what it is to be successful, what it is to be happy, what it is to feel joy, what it is to feel wealthy and abundant and prosperous, because you have opened your awareness to these aspects of experience, of our human experience, you are now going to start experiencing them. Um, you have approached life with a non-judgmental standpoint. So instead of saying, oh, I will never do that, I will never try that, you are now a little more open to new ideas, whether these be daring ideas or whether it may be something simple like food. Like I would never eat this type of cuisine because of a insert a cultural belief or a program belief, a program negative belief. You wouldn't try this because of something else someone else told you, basically. You are now completely diminishing any of those kind of thoughts that are pre-programmed or coming from external sources to now say, you know what? I actually don't have a problem with trying new things. You're finding who you are and it's okay to not like things or like things, but you want to actually experience these things and you're opening your perception and your experience at the same time. So expect to experience a lot of new things. I'm getting that this group is a very very fearless group you guys trust in the universe you've seen the miracles you have seen the blessings and you have a nice relationship with the universe um a lot of you <laughs> i know some of you have seen um or have read my book the 50 days to fifty thousand dollars advanced manifestation journey trusted the process and you put forth that process and you know that the universe is just responding to you. Reality is just a mirror of who you actually are. And the more that you become comfortable with who you are, the more that you practice that radical self-acceptance, the more the world starts to work with you. The universe starts to work with you. The more you want to be a better person, the more you are better for other people, better people show up in your life. It just all keeps going and you just continuously build momentum towards the good things in life. And you know how to handle anything that's resistant. You know how to neutralize those resistant events and you know how to be resilient to them and bounce back and move forward, okay? Well, the good thing about nothing lasting forever is that the pain doesn't even last forever. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull some more cards here. Why is it? Oh, we have two of pentacles. So this is what they see you as. This is what they see for you. They see that you have the two of pentacles. Like you have options here for what you want to materialize. Everything that you want, you get. Everything that you desire, you don't say I want it. You know that you have it. Two of pentacles here. Um, you're mastering the balance between spiritualism and materialism. Um, you have the Ten of Cups. You have happiness. You feel fulfilled emotionally. This is what you are coming off as. This is what you're vibrating as. And it's not that you are just coming off as this and you don't actually possess this within yourself. You're actually feeling fulfilled and it's being recognized, okay? So you have the Ten of Cups here. You have the King of Swords. You have become very much aware that your words manifest your reality and you've balanced your spirituality with your materialism. You've balanced your spiritual self with your 3D self and you've literally you're mastering the art of communication okay a lot of you may be feeling like you have more spiritual gifts like you might be able to work with animals and you might be able to empathically feel the pain of animals so for those of you that might want to be vets it is 
your calling to work with animals, to rescue animals, and you might be able to even solve problems that other people wouldn't have noticed, but you will get intuitive hits that this animal is hurting in this way, or this animal is in need of this kind of med medical attention. Um, so some of you have spiritual gifts that will help you in your career as well. But yes, some of you will be able to communicate a lot better. Expect to have a lot more people being attracted to you in friendly manners, people wanting to hang out with you, people just wanting to have conversation with you. This may be new for some of you. Um, a lot of you might be seeing more clients in your work. You might be seeing a upswing in customer traffic in your stores or on your online stores, wherever it may be. You have a higher volume of people being attracted to you and your work at this time okay with radical self-acceptance comes massive manifestations comes massive transformations we have queen of wands here queen of wands okay so you are in the seat of your soul you are sitting in the throne of your being you are making things happen you are feeling fulfilled you have this amazing sense of confidence that you can do it. You can do it because you know you can. You've seen the results. It is all working for you. And this is a beautiful thing to have. This is a beautiful, beautiful read. This is a beautiful moment for you, okay? So now, I mean, you are inspired at the fact that people don't necessarily like you. It's fine. You're not here to be liked by people that don't like you. You're here to be who you are, regardless of who likes you or not. This is actually a new, this is a new, I want to say like a new piece to your armor. Because before you might have been affected at the fact that, you know, everyone doesn't like you. You might have had a people pleaser type of tendency where it mattered to you that people would love you or people accepted you and you needed them to tell you you are worthy now you're like i know i'm worthy it doesn't matter if you don't like me i don't care and i'm not forcing you to like me i'd rather have people who like me in my life for who i am rather than to have people that i have to change for and force them to like me there's no force here everything is being attracted and magnetized to you naturally you've mastered the art of law of attraction you've mastered the law of vibration the law of frequency the law of compensation there are 11 laws and probably more and you've mastered them all you are being authentically you without any kind of any kind of care right and I feel like using the word authentically you is it's not even encompassing what is actually going on with you. you. You're already you. You're even growing out of certain phrases of, you know, what law of attraction coaches would tell you. You are no longer dependent on someone else to guide you. You are moving forward. Some people cannot take it. They can't take. They can't take it. And it's fine, okay? You're living for you now. All right, let's go ahead and finish this reading up here. Let's pull out a shopper's best friend card and see what the universe wants you to know. Okay, so it looks like you're about to be receiving a lot. And I just got three cards that jumped out here. You have send a gift, be generous. So you will be in a place where you feel comfortable with being generous without receiving in return. Your intentions have changed. Maybe in the past you've had relationships where reciprocation meant, oh, I, if I give you this, then I expect you to have this or give me this back. Now you're in a place where you don't even care if anyone returns the favor. You're just kind and you just want to be generous because it satisfies your soul, okay? It satisfies who you are. It's just who you are. It's not about even worrying about a result or anything coming back to you. You just feel what you feel and you act on your intuition because you trust your intuition and everything's coming from a good source okay new collection so this is all about this new experience that you're going to be having these new experiences maybe there are new things that you might be collecting maybe there are some 
hobbies that you might be picking picking up or some vintage items that you might be picking up. For some of you, it may be purses and bags that you like to collect. Some of you, it might be old memorabilia from, I don't know, like World War III, whatever it may be. World War III didn't even happen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It might be World War memorabilia, historical memorabilia. Um, for me, it's Dior lip gloss. <laughs> I want to start collecting those lip glosses because I just love the color range that they have there. Or, you know, it might be a collection that you've been wanting to do, but you just felt like it was silly to do in the past, but now you just feel comfortable with collecting whatever it is that you may want to collect. Maybe it's artwork. Maybe it's some of my artwork, okay? I don't know. You know, there's just new collections that you're going to be putting together. Maybe you're a designer and you're going to put out new collections. Um, or you're an artist and you're going to be putting out new artwork. Whatever it is, you're going to be creating a work of body, a body of work. Can you tell it's late? You're going to be creating a body of work or housing a collection of some sort that you are very proud of, that you're very happy with, and that actually brings the inner child a lot of joy this is something you've been wanting to do for a long time okay and now those people are hating on you because you're actually doing it okay so be it big whoop go do what you love all right i am a money magnet so we we're talking about magnetizing from a place of ease we we're talking about how now everything you already have internalized everything and you're moving beyond the definitions that most, you know, law of attraction coaches would bring forth, right? So you know that you're already magnetic. You know that like attracts like. Now it is figuring out, and, and you're beyond even the figuring out version. It is just now setting your intentions for your day and allowing things to just flow to you. That's all it is. You're just allowing things to flow to you at this point. You're not even thinking about it. It's second nature. Um, the reason why you're not thinking about it is because you actually have strategy. You've actually planned it. And you now just know what you want. And you know that you receive everything that you want. So everything is automatically, automatically magnetized towards you. You don't even have to say, I'm a money magnet. I'm a money magnet. I'm a... You don't have to convince yourself anymore. You know it for a fact. You're beyond affirming. You are now at the state of conviction. Okay? You are convinced and you are trusting and you are aware that everything that you want and desire will happen for you. You're a very responsible person. And because of that, you have been rewarded with a lot of new manifestations. Those manifestations that you've been really, really wanting and really, really picking at to get to it, they're happening. Whether they were huge, whether they were small, you have got to them, okay? You're closer and closer every day. You are bridging that gap. You are bridging, 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 bridging that gap. This is the second time I've seen this card in a read for the collective, so this is really important. Um, taking that leap of faith and just bridging that gap you're you're doing it every single day every single day i am consciously using my imagination to better my life i am respected and in command i am approved and accepted i am very much qualified to be spiritual <laughs> so actually i'm very much qualified to be a spiritual coach a successful one at that so some of you have been wanting to be spiritual coaches life coaches you are very much qualified to do those things. So if that is the realm that you would like to start your business in, you should definitely go for it. If you want to be a counselor, if you want to be a, a psychologist, if you want to be a therapist, art therapist, if you want to be a humanitarian, a philanthropist, if you want to be a social worker, if you want to start social programs, community service programs, it is definitely time for you to do that. If you want to be a motivational speaker, you want to be a pastor, a priest, 
anything that inspires people and brings them into one with their spiritual alignment, with their spirit self, with the connection to God, the connection to all, the connection to source, the connection to universe. You want to inspire people. It is now the time to do so. Okay. This is very important for you. And this is your life's work. This is what you are meant to do. You're being called to do that. And once you have been called, you have to answer to the calling or else you will just be wasting your time. You will be unhappy. You're going to go back into that spiral of why this, why that? You're going to be with the people who hate you with them saying, oh yeah, I'm glad you're here so I can hate you even more. I'm glad you're here so I can say, yeah, I knew you weren't doing it right. I knew it wasn't. They're going to, you don't want those people to be like, I told you so, I knew it. And yeah, I was right. Because they don't want to be right about the right things for you. They want to be right about the wrong things. And it is now time for you to put an end to that. Continue your radical journey of self-acceptance and keep making them mad, okay? Keep making them mad and keep making yourself happy. It's not even about, it's not even about them anymore. Okay, they can be mad. They're going to be mad anyway, but you're going to be making millions and millions of people happy. You're going to be inspiring generations to come. You're going to be doing amazing things by just working on yourself and being yourself and stepping into your purpose. And with that being said, if you like this video, check out all of my other videos on my YouTube channel. Um, you might want to check out my TikTok videos. I have two TikTok accounts. You can check out Key to You and Manifest Abundance Co. Follow me on Instagram. Connect with me. Keep this going, okay? And you always know that I want you to stay happy, stay healthy. Peace out.